I wasn't sure because we are kind of high up here. Packing the snow down so we can get our turn. Yeah, Betty's a big yeah. girl. She is. You're doing good. Oh, oh Lord. All right, we got ourselves into a little pickle. Well, that's because our new vehicle <laughs> down the way. And we thought we could just do a little turnaround here, but just going to get our little traction boards. And we thought, hey, let's show how this is done. It's beautiful out here. Right. <laughs> Let it happen. Be careful. Sunset. Whoa. Uh oh. Our shovel broke. Look at that. Yeah, there was a car in the middle of the road. So that is why we had to turn Bad Betty around or attempted to. We just went a little too far over. Nothing Jason can't can't get us out of, right Jay? We have our shovel. We have our traction devices. That'll be good. We did come prepared. This was uh, not expected, but we had a vehicle down there that we can't get by. Yeah. Got our idea here is to get just the bite underneath. So let's hope that we can get those front wheels to grab. All right. Cross your fingers. We might need them on the back. I do some maneuvering. Yeah, there was still a... Got a lot of fun to have here, and it's getting pretty slick and icy as the temperatures drop. And that's right there, the other car. Woo! All right, I get this shovel fixed. We're gonna need to come back some. Yeah. So get this shoveled flat. By the way, our shovels. Shoveled. Have it <laughs> well, this is uh, another reason that, I mean, you may not get your vehicle out in these terrains and areas, but just having gear on board. I mean, the nice thing is we do have the CH2 recovery gear in the front. And in the event that we did need to lock onto one of these Toyotas, I'm gonna go ahead and come back a little bit. Alrighty. And here's my concern though. Do you want me to Tell you how close you're to this Toyota? Um, you could do that, but here's the thing. Once we... Then you know he... what? We don't have many options. Yeah. I'm going to go talk to them real quick. Because what happens is even if we try to pitch back, yeah. we're going to be like this going this way. Okay. Go talk to them. I'm going to get back in the van. Me. Yeah. 
is basically their vehicle was almost impassable down there and no place to turn around. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what it's do very we do? Cool. So their only option is to come forward. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. And our only option now is to go backwards about how many miles? Well, hopefully we don't slide really off this cliff. We're not gonna slide off the cliff. Out of all places. I'm gonna get out the way. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. He's walking backwards. Let me get up a little further. Get my work out. <laughs> Shouldn't be laughing. You're doing good. Yeah? I want to stay on my side as much as possible. <gasps> okay. Um, I need to beat you, so. You have to run, dear. Yep, I know. I'm just stuck right here. I'm gonna go around you. It's doing good staying in the lines. Whew. I'd be all over. This is one of those moments when you're taking a road that you believe based on some traffic that it's all good. But when you get down there and you see a Toyota that's very well equipped and has a different weight ratio, we'll use that word. And they tell you that it's impassable down there and you don't have a turnaround. You got to get very creative. So if you watch some of our other videos, I talk about carrying recovery gear. I talk about all kinds of stuff because um, you just never know. This could be any snow park anywhere in the country and the conditions change and things happen. But I think what happens is that you have to remain calm the best that you can. You have to take a pulse check and say, let's ride. So what we're doing right now is we're staying in the pack zone. I'm trying to avoid right here because this is icy and slippery. As you can see, we already had tracks here and I'm not afraid to bite into this because this is what's going to allow me to grab traction. So we're going to keep moving. Michelle's a trooper. She's got a long backwards walk. <laughs> uh, this was not the plan, but we're going to do Whatever. it. Whatever. We're here. Just get going. Could be worse. It's beautiful. Not sure how far our walk is. And his backward. Oh, and of course there's that car in front of us. The whole reason we're doing this is <sighs> just gonna have to be patient. Seriously. So this is situation. Okay, here we go. <laughs> My goodness, this is just the wrong road we turned down today for sure. Here we go. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, well, we got the beaver here. <laughs> All right, you're doing good. Keep going. You have room over here. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. Made it by that. March on here to the top. I guess there's only about a half a mile left. Jay's doing good. Good lessons here. <laughs> Woohoo! Hallelujah. We have a turnaround parking lot. Here we go. Good job, Jay. We're almost there. There's a parking lot. Keep going. Yay! <laughs> so this was very interesting. Whew, but we made it. Whew. Lesson learned. Here we go. You have all this room now, babe. She runs me over. <laughs> go, bad buddy. Woo! Yeah, we did good. We did good. <laughs> Shell, you're a trooper. You, I think you won a good mile and a half backwards. Oh, it was fine. Man. I had to say bad Betty. I didn't want her going off the cliff. Uh, bad Betty did good. So if you ever had a question about the capabilities of your Echo, all-wheel drive transit chassis i'm here to tell you she performed again and uh 
This one, this one had us, you know, maybe that much worried. But Nixon, if you're watching, choot choot worried. <laughs> anyway, we're out of this place. Well, we still got a little ways to go, but at least we're going forward. <laughs> Are you like me now, snowplow? <laughs> folks over there in the sprinter there's two transits up there they're already out of course gotta love it um they got their uh recovery boards but it looks like the sprinter up here on the right that the folks are gonna shovel a pathway through as to why i'm not the driver of course i don't know if they can't go forward and maneuver but it's possible if i'm looking at their tires and whatnot that they may be wedged in if they continue to be stuck shell and i will bring bad betty over there and we'll help them get out yeah we'll pull them right out yeah, Jason couldn't resist. Just, well, just in case. Just in case. He, he, he never can just sit back and watch, but that's the cool thing about Jason. He does love helping people and using his recovery over in which There he goes, making friends, doing Jason. <laughs> hey guys. I'm just over here in this Ford Transit Echo. Yeah, and I got this whole setup here, and yeah, I'm I'm happy to help you all out if you need something. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Pretty sure I'll see him digging snow here when that truck goes by. Look at this, they got a little ambulance van. Oh, look at the cute dog. What's action here? Yeah. Wonder what the scoop is. Oh, looks like they got a rope or some kind of recovery. Something. At least I'm nice and warm. Good stuff. Never a dull moment on the mountain. Oh, looks like he might have something to do. Dun, 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 Jason. <laughs> yeah, they want some help. Oh, they do? Yeah. I saw they had some ropes. So I'm gonna just walk them straight out with the winch. All right, we got a job to do, guys. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> We've had a very busy day. All right, Jason has the recovery winch. Rope? Okay. Kill zone. This should be fun. We got the Sprinter Revel and we got the Ford Echo. Little teamwork here. <laughs>
Jay's in there. What are you doing? I got the tortillas, the oil, the special lime crema that I made. I got a lime just to have a lime. I got the jalapeno, the onion. I'm gonna go outside, I think it's, I don't know, it's in the 20s. And there's a nice, uh, probably 15, 20 mile an hour gust comes through. <laughs> but it feels good out there. To him. I got the, for me, I got the carne asada. And I've got the chicken, because I wanna go ahead and cook that up tonight. I'm gonna make the tacos. All right, y'all? Um, if you're in the area, HMU, hit me up, I'm here. Alrighty, let me get my lazy bum up. Let's see what my guy's cooking out here. I see him. Looks like he has a nice little setup. It's a little cold for me, but I'm happy too. Hey, Jay. Hey, what's happening? So what you got going? Oh, it is breezy. Well, I got the trail fire. Got my recovery boards acting as my table because I want to break out the table. Um, dicing up some onions on the Bad Buddy tailgate package cutting board. Bad got, Buddy. Bad Buddy. Sorry, Bad Buddy. <laughs> bad Buddy. So bad cold, buddy. So my enunciation <laughs> might be a little right. Off. I've got the tortillas. Yeah. Um, uh, got the Buck One Nineteen. It's gonna cut everything up. Got all the other goodies. The carne asada. What you see right here is actually the chicken breast where we're going to kind of just do a little bit of, I don't know the fancy word they use, but when they take it two different good. type, what do they call it? No, I said it smells good. Oh, I thought you had a, like a word, but Asian infused taco. I love it. Or maybe even Hawaiian inspired because of just all the things. You know what? I just like to make it up. We just like flavors. And then, but the carne asada, mm. oh, look at that. that Lime, smells. jalapeno. Uh, you know what? I'll leave the recipes in the description. Okay. <laughs> the recipes. Does anybody even read the description? How about, how about the ingredients? <laughs> yeah, you know what would be nice? Listen, if, uh, here's our view. If you guys could read the description and drop me a little comment that says you read it, even if you told the story. Right. Okay. Anyway, it's beautiful out here. Mm hmm. Nice young man over there. He's actually lives in his vehicle and travels around. I was chatting with him a little bit earlier. He was actually going to move his entire camp I setup know. We're like, for us. No. I yeah. said, there's no way I can do that. That was sweet. Yeah, Brendan. Gotta... Brendan was his name. Brendan. Super sweet guy. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. All right. That smells and looks delicious, Jay. All right. I'm going to check on Jay. Still doing well, I think. It looks like it started snowing. Did you get the carne asada on yet? Oh my oh, gosh. Yet, if you want to take a look. <gasps> smells back. so good. My onion mango combo. Actually, I'm coming out. Coming out? Coming out. I gotta see that close up. I actually could smell it from in there. Ooh. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Fish. Good wind out here too. Yeah. This thing is handling business. This yeah. thing beats. I air. know our new one. Second, second. The other one gets to go home. I know. And retire with us, cooking every night at home. <laughs> it's like Send you to the backyard with the trail retire. fire. Hey, one of the things we tell people about is, look, we can contain the heat. Mm -hmm. When I do that, though, I like to really knock the temperature down. Take a peek just inside. Okay, there. let See me come over on this side. This wind. See that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Then you just. Boom. Let me do that one more time. Boom. Okay. Boom. Our convection oven. Out the window, look like the carne asadas. Oh, yeah, it's all done. I'm gonna give it a little bit of the uh, specialty right here. Look at that. Tacos. Oh, yeah, believe it or not, there's raspberry. In. Mm -hmm. Fresh raspberry. Yeah, just gotta kind of keep it real. There are tortillas turned over, and you notice I got the walk off set mm -hmm. just to keep things warm and going. Got, got the, the onions, tortillas the mango, on the grill. Yep. all kinds of good stuff. Jalapeno. More tortillas, onions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
yes, one sir. piece. Tell me if you like the sauce. I kind of invented that. Mm, different. That's fun. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Jay's making a plate for the fellow down the road. <laughs> Look at this though. Wow, sizzle. It's all plated. Jay and I are ready to eat. Look at these tacos. Amazing. Pretty good. All right, y'all. We're going in. Cheers. We're just finishing dinner. I'm doing a little bit of cleanup here. And as you can recognize by this, our trail fire walk and it came right off. And I thought, you know what? The Bad Betty tailgate package cutting board, 100% carbonized bamboo, just happened to fit there so beautifully. So I said, you know what? Let's drop a little foil. We took this in, dropped her down, served right out of it, took care of business. Yeah, and nice now. Little we're just doing a little cleanup. Yeah. So I'm just kind of cleaning this up and uh, I we're like it. Kind of... Good night. <laughs> what a fun day. Don't you agree? Mm hmm. Look at those snowflakes. I know, it's coming down. It's so quiet out here. It's going to be a beautiful morning. But I want the snowflakes to just keep coming in the window. All right. I can let you do that. Good night. Good night, y'all. Just woke up to the sound of the snowplow man cruising around, uh, making a road in front of Bad Betty. I don't know if we're gonna sleep tonight, Jay. He has a big job to do. Mm. Oh, it's just right here. Here we go. Oh my gosh. You know, he could pick us up and move us. <laughs> this is Echo Nesters Live. We don't know what's going on, folks. Needs, this is dramatic. Oh, boy. Don't you touch Bad Betty. Don't you touch Bad Betty. Bad Betty will challenge you. Good morning, y'all. Let's see what it looks like after three hours of a uh, snow plow between 12 and 3 a.m. Very nice. Woo, the wind's kicking. Well, we didn't get much sleep, only because of the snow plow, but we definitely got a nice road. We'll catch y'all for breakfast. Good morning, y'all. We're just uh, getting our coffee going here this morning, a little Josta Reba. And it was a beautiful, beautiful day yesterday. We want to say thank you. Oh, cheers to y'all, but this is for you, Shell. Um, for joining us on this video, these adventures. We didn't actually expect this video to even go this way through all the things that we encountered, but that's what makes everything fun. One of the things we want to show you is the benefits of the thermal blanket. We always like to share with folks uh, some of the things that the Echo comes with. And I would say the intelligence of uh, what Winnebago thought of here. This is a very, very good thermal blanket. As you can see, there's quite a bit of weight to it. We love it. And all of the snaps have stayed in place for at least, we're almost at two years of ownership. And what I typically do is I just fold it just like this and I give it another fold. And I love this little compartment right here. And one of the new products that we have that's coming to our website, we're going to share with you. These are straight from Super Pacific. You're going to love these. This is how convenient the window shades are. The R value on here is well over three. I'm going to share all that with you in a different so video. So lightweight. But check this out. Let's say you wanted to drop that in the glove box. Done. You want to put it in the side door compartment. Done. No longer are you going to have to find a special home for these. And I'll show you where else they could tuck. Most of us are used to tucking our bigger shades right behind the seat. But it's also a place that we like to keep our lagoon table. So, 
If you so chose, you could keep everything conveniently located. Um, I tend to keep mine right up here, but I have been known to stuff them down there next to the door. And I've also been known to crowd the glove box with them. But I think that's it. Again, thank you for watching our video, subscribing, and uh, hitting the notification button and all the things that help us continue our journey. If there's anything that you'd like to see in the next video, leave it in the comment. If there's a functionality or something you're curious about, a pro and a con on something, I hope that you've seen that through our channel, we've been very transparent and candid about how we love the Echo and the things that we've done to improve a few little items. Just a little example, might as well. Little hydraulic hinges here, the 2023 and later actually have an engine system so we could go on and on thank you all cheers and until next time keep on echoing